not keratinized. But look at here. All the these layers are what? Keratinized. Yeah. Oh, it's the same as the last one? It, it, it is stratified squamous epithelial keratin. <laughs> oh, <that was> <coughs> This one is keratinized. Does it have living cells? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, these guys are all living here. See all these? Yes, no? So these cells are alive. They're doing mitosis and then they move up. And as they move up, they die. And they, but they hang on. But they're replaced with what? What fills this area here so they don't fall off? Keratin. Keratin that protein. And so now do we have added protection? Because they're non-living. So if an organism goes into one of these, if it can even get in, it really can't get in well. But let's say it got in here. Would there be anything in there for it to survive on? No. You are more likely to have an infection in the lining of your mouth than you would out here on the surface, correct? Just from that, re just for that reason. So where do we find this? Oh, Epidermis. Epidermis. Your skin. Does it matter if it's your feet or your hands or your chest or your back? No. Is that what connective tissue then would love it? Like is that what what? Connective. Tissue? This is connective tissue in here. All of this. This is actually your dermis, which is basically two types of connective yeah. tissue. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Okay. Right. yeah, it's not very distinct. It's right here. Can you kind of see it? But it's just not really distinct. And you'll say this is protection too? Oh, this is big time protection. This is the best protection. You know, those dead layers aren't going to let crap in. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't want to cut your skin. <coughs> That's why if you get a tattoo, can you get infection? Yes. Why? Because it's an open wound. The you ink's going holes down in, in here, it. people. If you just put the ink in here, what would happen? Get pushed out. 21 days later, no more tattoo. Okay. But if you put the ink back in here, and one of the worst things I saw, one of the teachers here tried to get a tattoo removed, and then it got infected. And I mean infected bad, two different species of bacteria that they were having a hard time killing. So even if I even thought about one, after that, that would be a no-go. My boyfriend's aunt had a tattoo for like 20 years and then suddenly developed an allergic reaction to the brown and it got infected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, whatever. Hepatitis, here I come. Um, <laughs> you good on this? Yes, no? 